And we'll begin by simply sitting tall as we normally do in the Saturday class. Um, today I'm gonna sit in hero pose, Virasana. So I have my knees together, my feet apart, tops of the feet on the floor, and I've got a block between my feet that I'm sitting on. Just one of the many options to sit, whichever is most comfortable for you. Take that one. And then we settle in by closing the eyes, letting the hands comfortably rest on the lap. Relax the facial expression. That will inform your system that we're now entering this really special time, this hour we've carved out of our day to be with ourselves as well as being in community. Because even though we are not physically with each other, we're sharing this time, this space online. So there's that feeling of sangha, of community. And we can certainly feel that support, that energy of the group. Allow the shoulders to relax away from ears. Tone in the low belly to support yourself tall. And observe how you are breathing. Noticing air coming in and out of the nostrils without needing to control your breath. Just let it be whatever it is. Today, we're gonna work on balancing in class. We'll do a few balancing poses and we can also contemplate the meaning of balance. Beginning just by finding balance in the breath. Watch if the length of the inhales and exhales are different or the same. And for now, we're not controlling, we're just investigating with curiosity, meeting ourselves where we are. And now, if there's a part of your breath that is longer than the other, can you match it? So now you're going to elongate the shortest part of your breath to match the longest. So the inhales and the exhales will last the same amount of time. And once you get that going, you can increase the length of both by one or two counts the inhalations and exhalations will be a little longer than your natural breathing right now. And eventually that will become your natural breath. Now I'd like for you to follow your own breath with the movement of the arms. And as you breathe in, circle your arms up over your head, expanding through the rib cage. As you breathe out, open the arms and touch the earth by your hips. Do it at your own pace. Inhale to circle wide, inviting so much prana, vitality into your system. As you exhale, you lower the hands, contracting the low belly, get tall. Keep going on your own. Inhale, freshness of this new day. And as you exhale, you breathe out any unnecessary stress from the week, tension. And you keep infusing yourself with more vitality with every inhalation. You keep softening into this moment, cleansing with every exhalation. We'll do it one more time on your own. Follow your breath. Very simple vinyasa movement in harmony with breath. Once your fingertips are on the floor, lift your right arm up, breathe in. Walk your left fingers away as you breathe out, side bend. Hold the back of your head, bending your elbows skyward. Supporting your head, you can relax your neck a little more. Breathe into the right side of rib cage. And as you breathe in, come back to center, lift your right arm up and lower it down as you breathe out. 
Now the left. Inhale, lift it up. Walk your right fingers away, bend over. Hold the back of your head so your neck muscles can relax even more. And breathe into the left side of your king. We'll return to center with the next inhalation. Reach your left arm up and lower the hand as you exhale, interlacing fingers behind your hips. Extend the arms, chest up, chin down towards chest just slightly. Scapula close to each other, encouraging that broadening of the heart center, heart chakra, anahata chakra. And with an open heart, we'll now bring the hands together in front of chest, and we'll chant the Gayatri Mantra, prayer for illumination, that we may be guided by the glorious sun to see truth. If you don't know the syllables, the chanting, you can just hum. Inhale. Om Bhu Vasvaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Pargo Devasya Dimahi Tiyo Yona Prachodayat Om Shanti 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 Om peace, peace, peace. Rub your palms against each other, create some heat. And when you feel your palms warm, bring that heat to cover your eyes, cleansing your vision, your ability to see truth, to see from a fresh perspective today. And gently slide the hands down the face, pass through your jaw, the back of your neck, massage your neck and shoulders with your fingers, letting go of tension, returning to a place of ease and comfort in the body. Release the hands, transition into child's pose onto your hands and knees, take your time. And as you sit back onto your heels, have your knees wide and allow your back muscles to gently stretch. Still watching the breath in the back of the body. Good morning, Ruchira, Teresa, Sharon, Kareen, Barbara. Good morning, Rhonda. Good morning, Ro Josie. Good morning, Rob. And good morning, Bruce. Okay, got everyone. <laughs> okay, so from here, we'll spread the fingers nice and wide. With the arms by the head, elbows straight, come onto your hands and knees, curl the toes for downward facing dog, hips up and back. Bend one knee at a time and move the hips from side to side. And check in to see what kind of balanced state you're living in right now? Physically, mentally, emotionally, all these different layers of your being may take this time to explore and to be with what's truly happening. We use the breath and the movement to let go of layers of unnecessary tension that may be taking us out of balance. Pausing center for a moment. Glide forward into plank as you breathe in, shoulders over wrists. Back into downward dog as you breathe out, hips up and back. Forward as you inhale, plank, neck stays long, navel in. Downward dog as you breathe out, hips up and back. Come forward once again into plank and hold. Press the inner heels back. Reach your chest forward, upper back broad. Take one more breath here. Knees down to floor. We'll, hip, we'll lower a circle the hips in circles. Yeah, just move around to free up your low back, to free up your hip joints. 
keep moving in a way that feels good for you. Remember, this is all about you, this hour. You find your way, you modify each pose, you take breaks whenever you want. Go in the other direction too. Allow the shoulders, the head, the neck to move freely. And with each circle, feel your body coming back to its natural state of harmony and balance. Now we'll pause back in center for tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and on the inhale, straighten your right leg back, look forward. Exhale, bring your knee to nose, round your back. Inhale, leg back, look ahead, shoulders down. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, opening the front of the body. Exhale, close the front to open the back. Notice the balance. Inhale, we open one and we close the other. And then we do the opposite, exhale. Two more times, inhale. So opposites will create balance. We'll investigate a little bit of that during practice. Opposite actions, creating harmony. Lower your knee down and extend the left leg back. Inhale, look ahead. Exhale, draw knee to nose, squeeze in. Inhale, open chest. Exhale, squeeze. Keep moving like this with your breath. Vinyasa again. We tend to think of vinyasa as sun salutations or some more complicated sequence, but anything that we move to the breath, any, any sequence that is in accordance to the breath, it's a vinyasa. Vinyasa means moving in a special way with the breath. After you finish the exhalation, lower your knee, and now straighten your right leg back, just parallel to floor, toes pointing down, left arm by head, thumb pointing up. Gaze at the ground, just slightly ahead. Contain the low ribs. Stay strong here. So notice how you need to engage effort, but at the same time, there needs to be a sense of ease so you can stay balanced and not let this be a struggle. A balance between effort and ease. Now, can you keep your leg up? Lower your left hand down. Move your left foot to the left, turn your body to the right and reach your right arm up. Yeah, so now your right toes are pointing to the right. Your leg is still parallel to the floor. If you can hold this, flex your foot, press back through the inner heel and take one more breath. Now lower your right foot to the floor and reach your right arm overhead in a side stretch. And we can circle that right arm to explore the mobility in the right shoulder girdle. Keep pressing the outside of your right foot down and let this feel good. From here, you've got two options. You can pause with the arm reaching overhead again, or you can reach it back like you're catching something falling from the sky, a deeper back bend, palm facing up. So if you're doing the back bend, your thumb is pointing towards the same place your head is pointing. So that, yes, turn your palm the other way towards the sky. Some of you may like to bend the right knee and hold the top of your right foot. Press the foot away from hip, tone in the low belly. Take care of your low back. And breathe. <sighs> Release the right foot down, reach the arm overhead for one breath. Look down, lower your hand, lower your knee. Cat and cow, two rounds, inhale, lift chest. Round the back, contract the belly as you exhale. Lift up the chest as you breathe in, shoulders down. Breathe out, two round again. Come to neutral, straighten your left leg back, toes pointing down, right arm by the head, thumb pointing up. Stay balanced. That balance between how much effort and how much ease you're bringing into the asana. A posture, a yoga posture, an asana needs to be steady and comfortable. You find that in the physical shape, 
in your muscular structure, in your bones, and also in your breath. Take one more breath here. Keep your left leg up, lower your right hand down, move your right foot to the right and turn your body to the left, turning the toes to the left. It's like a baby half moon, reach your left arm to sky, shoulders away from ears, energize your left leg, pressing back through the heel. How much ease can you find here within the effort? As you lower your left foot down, reach the arm overhead. Anchor down your left foot and move your left arm in circles. And observe how one shoulder may be very different than the other. And that's fine. We don't make any assumptions. We really get curious about the body in this practice so present. You can choose where your arm is going to pause now, either overhead or maybe reaching up for the back bend. Tone in the navel. For a deeper back bend, hold the top of your left foot, bending your knee and then press the foot away from hip. The neck stays long the whole time and the breath is even. Releasing the left foot down, reach the arm overhead again, everyone. Lower the left hand, left knee. Sit into child's pose, briefly, back onto your heels, Balasana. Take one breath, inhale into your back. And stay to soften as you exhale fully. And then come forward onto your hands and knees and lower to your belly, chest forward as you lower all the way down. Clear space around your head, please. Nothing around your head so you can move your arms by your body and not by your head, okay? Now, can you turn your head to the right? And just take a moment here. We're gonna pretend we're swimming. So as you inhale, you're gonna reach your right arm forward by your head, lift your chest and lift your left leg up. As you exhale, lower your right arm, your right leg and turn your head to the left. Inhale, your left arm reaches forward by your head, your right leg lifts, your torso lifts. Exhale, turn your head right and lower your arms by the body and your foot down. Inhale, your right arm forward, look forward, left leg up. Exhale, lower everything back down, turning the head left. Inhale, look forward, left arm by the head, right leg up. Exhale, turn your head right and release everything down. Inhale, right arm forward, look ahead, lift your left leg up. Exhale, turn your head left, lower everything down. Inhale, left arm forward, lift your chest, lift your right leg. Turn your head right, exhale, lower everything down. Inhale, look forward, right arm forward, left leg up. Look left, exhale, lower everything down. Last time, look forward, left arm by the head, right leg up. Turn your head right, exhale everything down. Now lift your chest, looking ahead, interlace your hands behind your hips and extend the arms back. Press the tops of the feet down. And take one more breath, reaching the hands back. Exhale, lower your forehead, hands close to low ribs. Curl the toes, push up, plank or knees. Downward dog, exhale all the way back. Inhale, expansion. Exhale to get empty. Inhale once more, vitality into your whole body. Exhale, contract the low belly, all the air out. Inhale, lift up your heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look ahead and step or hop between your hands, come to flat back, breathe in. Fold over legs, breathe out. Bend your knees to roll up your spine. Circle arms, reach up high. Bring your hands together at the heart. Namaskar, salutation. We're saluting the sun, three rounds of Surya Namaskar A. Circle, inhale, lift up, reach high. Fold over your legs, exhale, release your head. Inhale, halfway up, look ahead, shoulders back. Hands down, step or hop back, bend the elbows, lower halfway or all the way down. Inhale, lift the chest, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog all the way back. Inhale, we'll stay for two breaths. 
Stay as you exhale. Inhale, feel the breath and what happens to the body and feel what happens as you exhale. Inhale, lift up your heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop. Come to flat back, breathe in. Fall down, breathe out, bend the knees. Roll up the spine, circle around. Inhale, a circle, a full sun around you. Into the heart, we bring that energy. Inhale again, circle, Urdhvahastasana. Fall down, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands down, step or hop back, bend the elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shvanasana for two breaths. Inhale, expansion. And exhale, a soft contraction. Inhale, space. Exhale, ease. Inhale, lift your heel. Exhale, bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop. Flat back, breathe in. Breathe out, fold, roll up. Inhale, circle to lift. Back to heart, always exhale. One more. Inhale that full sun, Surya energy. Exhale, bow to it, that illumination. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands down, step or hop back, bend the elbows, Chaturanga with control. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale. Unrushed, exhale. Again, inhaling. Exhale, so present in the body. Lifting up the heels, breathe in. Breathe out, bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop. Inhale, flat back. Fold down, exhale, soft bend in the knees, rolling up. Inhale, circle and lift. Exhale to heart. From the chest now, reach up, inhale. Reach forward by your head, control the descent using your core stability all the way down. Step your right foot back, knee to floor. Raise your arms, Anjaneyasana, crescent lunge. Soften the shoulder. Let's add ego arms, open the arms wide. And then yeah, we reach forward, right arm crosses on top. Then the elbows, touch palms or hands to shoulders. Inhale, lift the elbows and soften the shoulders. Now remember here, as in every, every back bend, the low back tends to arc a lot. Keep yourself safe by engaging the front of the body, exploring opposites, right? So we contract the front to protect the back. Garuda, the mythical bird that flies really high up in the sky has gigantic wings that cover the entire sun. And Garuda is very wise. He sees the big picture of life because he flies so high. So he's not looking at life through tunnel vision. I love that metaphor. Garuda Asana. We're doing the arms of Garuda now. Take one more breath. Take the fingertips to the earth. Curl the back toes, extend the leg, high lunge. Raise your arms up by the head. Find balance here. Everything can be a balancing pose. A lot of the asanas, right? So find balance, press the inner heel back, reach your chest up high. You can lift your chin if you like, but make sure you're not jamming the back of your neck. Just one more breath. And open your arms, interlace hands behind the hips, extension of the arms back, chest up, right heel to floor now, humble warrior. Chest up, forward, left shoulder on the inside of the knee. Release the top of your head down and reach your arms skyward. Now notice, notice if your left hip is sticking to the left. Can you draw it back towards the end of the mat as you look down at the right foot? That arc is not collapsing in the foot. Keep reaching your arms up. 
pressing down that back foot. Find your balance here. And next time you breathe in, reach chest forward, hands down either side of front foot. Come back to the ball of the foot. Step that right foot forward a third of the way to extend both legs. Inhale, reach your chest forward, hands to shin, floor, or blocks. Fold over the left leg as you exhale. So again, this is a balancing pose as we find equal distribution of the weight in both feet. And we keep the hands light, whatever they're touching, they're light. The shoulders relax. The head, the neck relax. The facial expression is neutral. Pyramid legs, one more breath. We're gonna move into warrior three from here. So a soft bend in the front knee, walk your hands forward with or without blocks, lift your right leg up parallel to floor, reach your chest forward. The hips should be equally high up, your right toes are pointing down, your hands are light. Maybe they come together at the heart. Maybe you extend your arms back by your waist with the palms facing each other. Now notice if that left hip is sinking down. Can you keep it up? Moving the outer left hip away from the left armpit. Waist long, just one more breath. And as we bend the standing leg, we return into lunge pose. Step the right foot back, hands to floor. Lower your right knee down. Your right hand can stay down, left hand to hip, open chest to the left, twist. Left arm reaches up. You could extend the back leg as an option. Rotate the shoulder head back. And however you want to open your chest here, I like to reach my arm kind of over the body with the palm facing the sky. Whatever works for you, neck is long, waist is long on the left side. And we take one more breath. Bring your left hand back down. Walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Feet parallel, leg straight. Fold between your legs, prasarita, hinge, prasarita padottanasana. Fold onto your forearms or elbows. And lift the shoulders away from ears. Space around your neck. You could sway side to side if you like or you can stay still in center. Find balance in the breath, in the body. That will lead to balance in the mind. Strength in the legs and also a sense of ease in the torso releasing down. Again, that balance between effort and ease. You can now release the hands down, reach chest forward, breathing in. We're returning into lunge at the front of the mat. Whoops, I'm losing my AirPods again. <laughs> lunge, stepping into plank pose, step back. One breath in plank, move your chest forward, lower halfway or all the way to the floor. Upward dog or cobra, breathing in, shoulders back and down. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Inhale, expansion, and exhale to soften into the strength, not losing any strength. Again, inhale, expand. Send the hips far away from shoulders as you exhale. Lift up your heels as you breathe in. Breathe out to bend the knees. Look forward, step or hop. Flat back, breathe in. Fold down, breathe out, bend the knees. Reach your arms by the head, passing through Katasana. We lift the torso. So see, we pass through that awkward chair pose. They often call it awkward chair. You're sitting really low, really low, more weight on the heels. Lift the chest, arms by the head. And then we extend the legs and we arc the back, lifting up the chest. We need to turn to neutral in mountain, Tadasana. Other side of the same sequence, inhale, lift up. Reach forward and fold over legs, exhale. 
Step your left foot back, knee to floor. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, lift your arms. Soften the shoulders as you exhale. Open your arms wide. Garuda, other side, the arms of the ego. The left arm is now on top. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, shoulders down. The front knee is over the ankle. The right femur bone is drawing back into the hip sockets. And we're taking good care of the low back. Breathe here. Inviting the energy of Garuda so we can come out of tunnel vision and see the big picture or trust at least the big picture of life. Even when we can't understand why things are happening a certain way, we just trust that there's a reason. And perhaps in the future, one day we will understand. From here, as you release the arms of eagle, touch the floor, curl the back toes, extend the leg, find stability, raise your arms by the head. Softening the shoulders, find balance. The back leg is active. We're pressing through the inner heel and we keep squaring the pelvis forward. We're gonna open the arms now to interlace the hands with the opposite thumb on the outside. Extend the arms, chest up. Now lower the left heel down, humble warrior, chest up. Forward, right shoulder on the inside of knee. Top of head down, we're gazing at the back foot, reaching the arms up. Draw the outer right hip back. Press the outer border of your left foot down. Find balance. Just one more breath here. Very good, reach your chest forward. Take your hands down, come to the ball of the back foot, and then step your left foot forward a third of the way, extending both legs. Reach your chest forward, hands can come to shin, block or floor as we fold over the right leg. Release the hands. Hands light. 50% of the weight on the left foot. Notice if there's anything engaging that doesn't need to be tensing up or engaging. Now is the time to become aware and to change the things that are not helpful so we can invite more of that sense of ease. Moving into Virabhadrasana 3, soft bend in the front knee, walk your hands forward, lift your left leg parallel to floor, chest forward. Once you find balance here, energizing the back leg, you can bring your hands at heart, maybe extend the arms by the waist. Keep drawing the outer right hip back, chest forward, press the left heel back a lot. The breath is still steady, it doesn't change. We take one more. To come back into lunge, hands down, bend the front knee, step the left foot back, lower the knee down. Left hand on the floor, right hand to hip, twist, open chest, right arm up. Send the right hip back, rotate the shoulder head back. Maybe extension of the back leg. That sequence can be tough on the hips. We're going to do some hip openers in a moment. Take one more breath. Lower the hands. Walk the hands to the left, feet parallel. Fold between your legs. The toes are pointing the same way. And now as we hold the arms, we change the arm that is on top. So another nice way to create harmony and balance in the body is to do things both ways. Even simple things like how we cross our legs, our arms. Release the torso. Some of you may like to work towards a head stand here, bringing the top of the head to the floor, lining up your palms with your feet. 
And if you feel ready to even lift your feet off the floor, you could do that, right? So you could come onto your tippy toes, set up for the tripod with the elbows bent 90 degrees, and maybe lift your legs up, up, up. So this is totally up to you. And because we're at home alone, uh, maybe don't try this one if you've never done it before. Wait for us to be in class and I can assist you. Taking one more breath wherever you are. And then with the hands coming to the ground, we can reach the chest forward and returning to lunge at the front of the mat. Bend the right knee, step into plank. Lower halfway or all the way down. Upward dog or cobra. Downward facing dog, all the way back. A full inhale and a slow exhale. Lift up the heels as you breathe in. Breathe out to bend the knees, look forward, step or hop between the hands, flat back, inhale. Fold down, exhale, bend the knees, roll up the spine, circle around, reach high. To heart, exhale, namaskar. Another vinyasa here, circle, lift. Exhale, fold over legs. Halfway up, look ahead, breathe in. Hands down, step or hop back, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Lift your right leg up this time as you breathe in. Turn your toes to the right and bend your right knee to open your right hip, open your pelvis to the right. Press equally into both hands. Gaze down at your left foot to relax your neck. Some of you may like to step the right foot behind you, flipping the dog. Lift your pubic bone to sky. Arm can reach overhead. So again, this can be a side stretch if you're turning to the side more, or you can lift your torso skyward and reach your right hand back, it's more of a back bend. You decide, one more breath. Slowly gazing down, lower your right hand, go back into downward facing dog. And with the inhale, glide forward plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Other side, now the left leg lifts up. We turn the toes left, we bend the knee. You can stay here if that's enough for you today. Or you can flip your dog and take it to whatever place gives you a sense of expansion, a sense of strength a sense of freedom and leads to more harmony and more balance in your body, in your mind. We return mindfully, the hand down, back into downward facing dog. One more vinyasa, forward inhale plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, inhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana for the exhale. Inhale here. Exhale fully. Lift up the heels, breathing in. Breathe out to bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop. Inhale, flat back. Fold down, soften knees, exhale. Reach your arms by the head. Let's go to Utkatasana one more time. So arms by the head, palms facing each other, press down the heels, contain the floating ribs and take one more breath, create length in the waist. And then extend your legs, lift your chest, arms down, Tadasana. Three, anchor down, steady as a mountain. Bend your left knee. Turn the knee out, foot as high as you like up your leg. Palms touch. Strong standing leg. From the belly button down, we ground. That's the energy. From the belly button up, we lift. Raise your arms as you like. Any hand gesture you wanna take, go for it and have I have peace fingers here with my hands. 
inviting peace into our hearts, into our speech, our actions, our whole life. And notice how balancing is not something we achieve and then we're done. Mm -mm. <laughs> we keep working on it constantly. Different forces coming together to create balance, harmony. One more breath. Draw knee forward, hands together, everything back down. Adasana, we ground. Other side, right knee. Vrikshasana, tree pose. And another important thing when it comes to balance is that we don't progress onto the next stage until we are steady in the foundation. Step by step, that's how we progress in kramas. Thumbs up whenever you like. I'm gonna do the yana mudra gesture. Looks like an okay sign, gently joining the thumbs and index together. Gesture that reminds us of our inner wisdom, connecting to the higher self, the one that holds all the answers. Easy breathing. Steady and comfortable at the same time. <laughs> to come out of Rikshasana, knee forward, hands together, everything back down, reground, moving into dancers. Bend your left knee, bringing your left foot close to your left hip. You can keep the knees close together, holding the front of the foot with the left hand, right arm by head. Index and thumb join together again. Send your foot back, arm stays by the head as your chest comes forward to counter the foot going back. The breath is unchanging. Even inhales and exhales. A soft bend in the standing leg can help you balance. A smile can also help you balance. It invites that softness, that so calm, that joy into the moment. One more breath in Natarajasara, the cosmic dancer. Coming back up when you're ready. Tadasana, always returning to our center. Hmm. Other side, when you're ready, pick up your right foot. Left arm by head, Yana Mudra. Foot back. Take care of your low back. Remember to keep the lower abdominals engaging. Relax your eyes. The left arm stays by the head the whole time. And we never ever hold the breath. There's that saying, I forget how it goes, but it's something in regards to in order to keep balance. I think it's when you're cycling, when you're biking, in order to keep your balance, you gotta keep going, right? So that's truth for life, truth for this very pose right now. Keep the breath going. Don't hold your breath. Slowly return. Tadasana, we ground. Now a hip opener, less balancing pose. Bend the left knee, open it out. Figure four with the legs, flex your ankle. Hands touch. As you find a point to focus on, you can then bend the standing legs, send your hips back. Maintain the spine as neutral as possible, even though you're folding forward. So maintain a little arc in the low back if you can. The neck long. Maybe the hands will come down to touch the floor, the blocks or something. 
a wall perhaps, or maybe you keep your hands together. This can be a preparation for an arm balance too. If you hook your left foot around the right upper arm and bend the elbows into your body, and then you can start shifting weight into your hands and lifting the right foot off the floor. You take it wherever you like. And we'll prepare to come back up when you're ready. And lower everything down, Tadasana. Last one, right knee bends, figure four, flex at the ankle, and go for it. Extending the hips back as you bend the standing leg. The waist is long, both sides. The breath is steady, doesn't change. Gaze is ahead. Maybe the hands touch a wall, a stool, a block, a floor. Maybe you work towards the arm balance, hooking that right foot around the left upper arm, coming forward with your weight and lifting the left foot off the floor. All an option, all a play. Taking your time to return up, down. The last vinyasa before we lie down. Inhale freely, circle wide, reach up. Fold over legs, exhale, bow. Halfway up, chest forward, breathe in. Hands down, step or hop back, bend the elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, expansion, freedom. Exhale here. One more breath, inhale, balance. Exhale, anything that is not serving you. Heels will lift with the inhalation. Bend the knees with the exhalation. Look ahead, step or hop, flat back, breathe in. Bend the knees to sit on the floor as you breathe out. Extend your legs forward and have room to lie down behind you as you point your feet, arms reach forward, shoulder high, breathe in. Exhale, come on down. Slowly with control, use your core strength. Keep the inner spiral in the legs. Come down slowly. As your head touches the earth, hug in your knees. So in practice, also we find balance in many ways. There's a time to work hard. There's a time to find ease. We're moving towards the ease, <laughs> towards relaxation. I just wanna do one more back bend. Let's bring the feet to the floor, hip distance apart, arms by the body. And as you anchor down, press through your feet, lift your hips, bridge, simple. Walk your shoulders close together, palms up or hands interlaced. Sit to Bandhasana. Again, press into your feet, they're parallel. Engage your inner legs. You can imagine squeezing a block with your thighs. Lift your hips higher and your chest higher. Enjoy the opening for the front of your body. So throughout this practice, this poses, we contract muscles, we build strength, we hold, we stretch, we open. There's so much going on. And all that is to restore harmony in the body, in the mind, to bring ourselves back to our natural state of being, a state of balance. Take one more breath. Separating the hands and the shoulders, upper back down first, hips last, knees fall inwards, soften, relax. Now for a closing posture, we'll either have the legs up in a simple viparita karani, with a wall behind you or without, or you can move into shoulder stand if you wish. Arms by the body to begin. 
Lifting the hips, feet overhead for Plow Halasana. Walking the shoulders close together. Hands support the back with the fingers pointing up to sky. And maybe we lift the legs up. Maintain an inner spiral in the legs. Remember, if you're not inverting, you're welcome to simply have your legs up. You can even have a block under your pelvis if you wish. Now, can you allow your breath to be smooth here? Anytime you need to come out of a pose, just come out, right? Trust your your wisdom to know when it's time to come out, to rest. Keep lifting your hips high up, adjust as needed. Reaching your toes up. The breath will tell you if you've gone too far in a pose, if you cannot breathe properly, if your breath is choppy. It'll be an indicator that you can take a step back, especially in this final postures where we're encouraging a sense of ease. Let the breath be long. Keep lifting the hips. There's still effort involved. Just enough, just enough to keep you in the pose. To come out to a Charvangasana shoulder stand. Put your feet overhead into Halasana plow. Hold here for a moment, maybe interlacing the hands behind the hips, extending the arms. Here the back is rounding. Nice stretch for the upper back. And then your palms can be on the floor to serve as brakes for you to lower your hips slowly to the ground. And once the hips are down, we either bend the knees or we use the core strength with the legs straight to lower the legs down without creating too much tension in the neck area. Let's all hug in the knees meeting in Atanasana. Rocking a bit. And then take your feet down as wide as the mat with the knees bending to sky. Open your arms out, palms facing up. Take a breath in. Twisting with the exhale, knees to the right, turn your head left. Back to center, breathing in. Breathe out, knees left, head right. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. One more time. Exhale, knees right, head left. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees left, head right. Up as you breathe in, pause. Bring your feet hip distance apart. Twisting a little bit different, move your hips to the right. Draw your knees up into chest and then over to the left, arms out. So settle into the twist. And if you want to take a variation, feel free to create your own shape. An example would be to extend the right leg and use the left hand to hold the outside of your right foot or your right leg. Wherever you are, can you keep the waist long, the right side of the waist long, the right shoulder relaxed? And watch your breath. The right side of the body, according to the yoga tradition carries our masculine energy, the surya, solar energy, which is hot, more active, energy required to ignite change. 
to transform, to manifest. So here we allow that masculine solar energy to flow freely through the right side. Yang energy. If the leg is straight, bend the knee. And we all slowly bring the knees back to center. Feet to the floor, align the hips with shoulders and take a breath in center. Then move your hips over to the left, knees up into chest and over to the right. Adjusting the body, settling into this shape. Left shoulder relaxes down. Moving in stages, if you'd like a variation, you can then go into it. Maybe that top leg straight. Easy breathing. The left side of the body is carrying our feminine, lunar energy, cooler, more passive, more accepting, creative, soothing, the energy required to be with things for what they are, to relax, to calm down, to accept the things that we cannot change. We allow the yin energy in the system to flow freely through us, through the left side now. If the top leg is straight, we bend the knee and then both knees up everyone aligning shoulders and hips hugging the knees happy baby ananda balasana knees wide soles up grab outer edges of feet rock around as you like enjoy being in the body as we come towards the end of the practice, energy lines have been cleansed, body has been strengthened, open. When you feel ready, you can find your way into Shavasana to rest. Take your time, lying down, propping yourself getting warm notice the support beneath you and see if you can practice surrender now in shavasana we let go of any form of control and we practice trust trust in the wisdom of the body to restore renew itself Let the feet relax Both legs relax, the hips, the pelvis, the belly, rib cage, chest, the whole back. Let the shoulders relax, both arms, 
both hands. Relax the neck. Let the mouth relax. Cheeks, ears, eyes, nose, forehead, crown, brain, the whole head, the whole body, relaxed. With each exhalation, we allow the body to soften even more. Not controlling, just allowing. And as the body relaxes, the mind relaxes. All the different layers of our being We all relax. And the more time we spend in a state of relaxation, of trust, of faith, the easier it is to spend more time in that relaxed and faithful state of the mat as well. Continue to soften, enjoying this relaxed awareness. As we bring attention back to notice the body, the mind can remain relaxed, just observing the body, how you feel right now. Begin to gently move your fingers and your toes ankles and wrists, stretching out in the way you like, enlivening the body, getting ready for this day ahead, the weekend, long weekend for us. Take your time, hugging in the knees, rolling over to one side, and we'll meet seating in a posture that is comfortable for you. Neutral spine, open heart.
Notice once again how you feel. Remembering that this practice can help us restore balance in the body, in the mind, all the different sheets, the different bodies, different koshas. So in gratitude, we join the hands together. Gratitude for this body, for this life, for this practice, for this community, for having found a sangha, a spiritual community that we can relate to and feel held by, share space. We'll close chanting the sound of Om one time. Deep breath in. Oh. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here, for joining with your energies, with your smiles, with your efforts. <laughs> Thank you. It's so cold here for us. It got so cold, I'm freezing. <laughs> but still nice view. <laughs> so if there's any feedback, anything, you can always message me. I've got to finish the recording. But it was lovely to see you all. Thank you so much for your presence.